do I dare disturb the universe? In a minute, there is time for decisions and revisions, which a minute will reverse. For I have known them all already. I've known them all. The, the, uh, the, the evenings, the mornings, the afternoons. I've measured out my life with coffee spoons. I know the voices dying with a dying fall beneath the music from a farther room. So how should I presume? And I have I've known the I've known the eyes already, eyes that fix you in a formulated phrase. And when I am formulated and sprawling on a pen, when I'm penned and wriggling, wriggling on the wall, then how should I begin to spit out all the butt ends of my days and ways? How should I presume? And I, I've known the arms already. I've known them all. The arms that are braceleted and white and bare, but in lamplight, down with light brown hair. Is it perfume from a dress that makes me so to dress? Arms that lie along a table or wrap about a shawl. And should I then presume? And how, how should I begin? Shall I say, I have gone at dusk through narrow streets and watched the smoke that rises from the pipes of lonely men in shirt sleeves leaning out of windows? I should have been a pair of ragged cloths scuttling across the floors of silent seas. And the afternoons and evenings sleep so peacefully, smoothed by long fingers, asleep, tired, or it malingers here beside you and me. Should I, after tea and cakes and ISIS, have the strength to, to force the moment to its crisis? But though I have wept and fasted, I've wept and prayed, Though I, I've seen my head brought in, uh, grown slightly bald, brought in on a platter, I, I'm no prophet. Here's no great matter. I've seen the moment of my greatness flicker, and I have seen the eternal footman hold my coat and sticker, and in short, I was afraid. And, and would it have been worth it after all, after the cups, the marmalade, the tea, among the porcelain, among some talk of you and me, would it have been worthwhile to have bitten off the matter with a smile? to squeeze the universe into a ball, to roll it towards some overwhelming question, to say, I'm Lazarus, come from the dead, come back to tell you all, I should tell you all. And if one settling the pillow by her head should say, well, that's not it at all, that's not what I meant at all. Would it have been worth it after all? Would it have been worthwhile after the sunsets, the dooryards, the sprinkled streets, after the novels, after the teacups, after the the skirts that trail along the floor, and this, and so much more. It, it's impossible to say just what I mean. But as if a magic lantern had thrown nerves and patterns on a screen, would it have been worthwhile if one settling a pillow, throwing off a shawl, turning toward the window, should say, that is not what I meant at all. That's not it at all. No, I'm not Prince Hamlet, nor was I meant to be. I'm an attendant lord, one that will do to swell a progress, start a scene or two. I'm Lady Macbeth. Swell a progress, start a scene or two, <laughs> advise the prince, no doubt an easy tool, deferential, glad to be of use, politic, cautious, meticulous, full of high sentence, but a bit obtuse. Indeed, at times almost ridiculous, almost at times the fool. I grow old. I grow old. Oh, I should wear the bottoms of my trousers rolled. Should I part my hair behind? Do I dare eat a peach? Oh, I should wear white flannel trousers and walk upon the beach. I've seen the mermaids singing each to each. I do not think they'll sing to me. I've seen them riding seaward on the waves, combing the white hair of the waves blown back when the Wind blows the water white and black. We have lingered in the chambers of the sea with sea girls wreathed in seaweed, red and brown, till human voices wake us and we drown.